Everybody thinks, oh gee, I want to be coached, I'd like to be a good coach. The problem is, how do you go about it? In organizations where people are not clear on the vision and priorities, I wish them luck on coaching people. Because how do you coach people if it's not clear from the leadership where we're going? Once you have that though, and you're encouraging people to match their time with priorities, then you got something to coach them against. Your job is to make coaching a priority. You have to coach your direct reports yourself. I differentiate in this book between coaching and mentoring. Mentoring is you come to me, you tell me a story, and you ask me for advice, and I give you advice. Coaching, to me, is something different. Coaching usually requires direct observation, usually requires the coach to do homework, and lastly, requires me to tell you, here are one or two or three things you need to do better at. A lot of people also make the mistake they wait for the year-end review to give people coaching, and that's usually a disaster. People are surprised. Usually, about a nanosecond after being surprised, they find out their compensation, and if the news is bad, they're really, really upset, may feel betrayed, and they may even feel like they don't want to work at the firm anymore. You've got to then move back X number of months and give people coaching well in advance so they have a chance to improve. When you become very senior in an organization, to the point where you become the CEO, who's coaches you then? The parties that can coach you are the people below you. You may not know your strengths and weaknesses, particularly your weaknesses, but I can tell you all the junior people who work with you, they can tell me in a second what your weaknesses are. So what I've said to people is start meeting one-on-one -on -one with junior people and ask them. And how do you do it? Simple. Can you give me one thing I need to do better? Sit there with them, even if it's uncomfortable, and it usually is to start, until they give you something that is a constructive suggestion. And that thing is usually devastating because you know it's true, you know everybody must think it, and you know you better do something about it. And so what senior people need to learn to do is get coaching from junior people. Once they do this, it's a fabulous thing in that they're going to be more effective, the business is going to be more effective, and you all of a sudden have an early warning system where people come in and give you advice before the business goes off the rails.